So I'm upset today because I got racially profiled. This lady came up to me and asked me if I knew where there's some good nail salons around. <laughs> Why is she asking me for? Because right? I'm Asian? That's some racist BS. Do you know how insulting that is? Like in this day and age, you can find any piece of info on your phone. But instead she was like, nah. Let me go ask Kim Jong-un over there. Like part of me was just like so angry. Part of me was frustrated. Part of me was like, she could kiss my yellow ass. But then a part of me was like, damn it, I do know there's some good nail salons around here. My cousins own a couple down the street. I could get her a friends and family discount. Oh. Of course, I couldn't tell her. I couldn't tell her, right? No, because I, I don't want to further perpetuate how she might perceive my people. So I did what Asians have been doing for centuries when confronted in a situation like this. I looked her straight in the eye and I said, so sorry, no English. <laughs> Gotta love so sorry no English. <laughs> so sorry no English is the greatest thing my people have invented since fireworks in general sells chicken. <laughs> I have gotten out of so much crap thanks to so sorry no English. Excuse me sir, can I borrow a dollar? So sorry no English. <laughs> Good morning, we're Jehovah's Witnesses. So sorry no English. <laughs> Hey, you pervert, why are you hiding in the bushes outside my bedroom? So sorry, no English, Scarlett Johansson. I gotta run. <laughs> Can't do that here in LA, though. Can't use so sorry, no English. Too many Asians here. Every other person you run into is Asian. They'd be like, oh, we don't have to speak English. I'm like, all right, shit. 